Hello and welcome to another Arkeys video and to a new 2 million credit time trial challenge on Gran Turismo 7. This time we are at Road Atlanta and we are in the KTM Expo or Crossbow if you like and we are on the sports soft tires. This is my first impressions video. I usually do an hour to see what I can do. I was having fun this morning so I did another hour and then in the evening after work, I jump back in in VR. So maybe calling this a first impressions video is a bit of a stretch. But anyway, join me as I try to figure this out. And if you are enjoying the content, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. It is highly appreciated. Now let's jump into this one for the first time. So this is Thursday morning. I'm waiting for it to be nine o'clock, which is the new time for the new time trials to release where I live jumping into sport mode, picking up the price for the previous time trial and jumping in to this one. And as usual, we are using my first wobbly lap to look at some brake references. And for turn one, we are looking at that orange barrier. That's a good marker. Getting the car slowed down, down to fourth gear. You can see I am struggling a bit to get the car around there. This is rather slow. Coming over the hill, I'm looking for that curb there. Once you see that, start to slow down the car. This is a blind corner, rather tricky to find. I'm using the wrong gear, so just ignore that. Now we're coming down the hill. I'm short shifting to fifth gear, struggling a bit with the understeer. And once again, I'm using roughly the start of the curb as a reference, getting the car slowed down, uh, trying to exit in fourth gear, easy to run wide there. And as we're coming up towards this right-hander, there is sort of an escape road there and sort of right after that, that's my reference for slowing down. And you can see I braked way too late there. I was braking way after that. Here it's a bit tricky to find a reference. It's roughly halfway between those two corners you need to brake here. I am using the 300 board. You are braking after it, but if you add on my slow reaction times, the 300 board is a nice reference exiting in fourth gear, struggling with the car a bit. Now, as we're coming over the hill, I'm aiming for the end of the curb, starting to turn in, and we are sliding across the line in a 129.277, so a rather slow start, and I run off the track on lap two, really struggling with that understeer. So at least we got a lap in. This is extremely early doors, only three minutes in, and we carry on. I've loaded the fastest available Ghost, and uh, as we are coming around turn one, you can see I was doing a better job this time, staying towards the inside and uh, getting the car slowed down. I am exiting in third gear. You want to exit in fourth gear, but I'm just being very cautious. In general, this first sector on Road Atlanta is really still a part of my homework as I need to get better at this. I lose a lot of speed and it's easy to make costly mistakes. Once again, I am braking too late for this corner, really running wide. And as we're coming out of this corner, you will see I am exiting in third gear. The fastest solution is fourth gear, but it took me a while to find out. So you will have to live with me exiting in third gear until the very end of the video as I finally find out. And we're coming over the hill once again. That's a bit too wide. You don't really want to get too much on that curb but we are almost cutting the inside and we are across the line in a 127.992 and we carry on. This is the lap following immediately after. We are coming up the hill, getting a good run compared to the Ghost, getting the car slowed down. I am down to third gear, but exiting in fourth gear this time. Have to lift a tiny bit if you can keep the car towards that left-hand curb. Uh, so you can get a proper angle coming down the hill because it's really easy to get a lot of understeer as you come down the hill. We survived coming out of there in fourth gear. Once again coming in a bit too hot into that corner. And I am using second gear for the rotation up to third gear. Uh, being on a controller it sometimes feels easier to just use a lower gear and almost let the rear slide around the corner up to fourth gear on that second apex and uh, now we are getting a good run down the hill but once again i am turning in a bit too early almost cutting the inside and the car is thrown off to the left but we are down to a 126.545 and we are going out to have a look we've done seven minutes of the first hour now 
and we will see the times coming down fast. This time trial went live on the website already on Wednesday, so if you wanted to, you could start practicing this a day earlier. I didn't do that because I just wanted to keep the consistency, so this was a genuine first uh, impression compared to my other first impressions videos. We are coming down and up the hill, down to third for a brief moment for some rotation up to fourth gear again. I am braking a bit late for a change and uh, yeah, fighting the car a bit too impatient. You can see I was struggling on the exit and this was just a clumsy corner and you can see you get some wheel spin in third gear. Here I'm being a bit indecisive through the chicane and I mess up my line for the second part of the chicane so that cost me some time so only a small improvement there and on the following lap I start to gain a lot coming up the hill so my first run here must have been really awful first run of this session getting the car slowed down at the curb there exiting in fourth gear lifting a bit trying to hug that left hand side curb unfortunately i am going to throw away a lot of time here i'm ending up on the grass sliding around that corner trying to get down the power and uh, yeah we are still alive and I am going to get a better line out of the chicane this time coming up the hill. That was really clumsy on the previous run and you can see how my time is coming down. And uh, are we cutting? Yeah, we are cutting a bit too much on the inside. It's a bit of a sketchy moment, but now we are almost into the 125s. And as you can see, I did several laps after that without improving. So now we are jumping out for a bit. I also went to watch a replay but that replay didn't use fourth gear coming onto the back straight so I will continue using third gear on that corner and I would really like to get into the 125s. Oh well, it is getting harder now it seems and uh, yeah, I lost the car on that corner there so we are jumping out again. Now we've got only 20 minutes left of the first hour and uh, on this lap we are going to dip into the 125s uh, using fourth gear just trying to coast around the corner waiting for the car to get some grip again coming over the hill braking at the curve using a bit of third up to fourth gear almost cut the track there trying to hug the left hand curb so i can get a nice angle into this downhill section without getting too much understeer and uh, using a bit of third back up to fourth don't run wide and uh, this time I actually find that first right hander but unfortunately I'm going to miss the second one I was so happy that I finally nailed that first corner so we messed up our run down the back straight now coming through the chicane that looks a bit too cautious up to fourth gear at least but despite the mistakes we managed to just dip into the 125s and my run across the line was much better than on the previous lap and the blue delta instantly distracted me and now it's just point of no return and just as i have entered the 25s jetta is about to leave the 24s so i need to find some more speed we carry on coming into turn one down to fourth gear waiting for the car to grip so i can get back onto the power and i think yeah i'm staying in fourth gear that seems a bit easier to keep the car in check you don't want to get the car unstable right before you need to go through that tricky turn two we're coming down the hill fighting a bit with the understeer but keeping the car in check using third gear to rotate the car back up to fourth gear I think you can stay in fourth gear as well, but it seemed easier for me to use just a bit of third gear, at least at this point of the time trial session. We found that corner. Can we break early enough for the second corner? I could, and you can see that third gear, you really run out of third gear much uh, sooner than you would like. So that's why fourth gear is better. But we will learn that eventually we make our way through the chicane. I was cutting too much of that second apex. You want to really take a big chunk of the first one and then just skim the second one. At least we don't cut too much of the inside before the line and we're down to a 125.708 and the delta is blue. I get distracted. I run wide. Have we seen this before? Good evening. Tonight on It's the Mind, we examine the phenomenon.
phenomenon of deja vu. That strange feeling we sometimes... So that was my best time within the hour and I also get that strange feeling I've used that Monty Python reference before. Good, 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 good evening. <laughs> Tonight on It's the Mind we examine the phenomenon of... Da, 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 da. Anyway, now we are going into overtime because I was actually having fun with this time trial. I like driving the car. It's mostly the track, mostly sector one on the track that I am struggling with, but we are on our way to yet another improvement, I'm going to skip forward a bit now. We are down to a 125.661, down to a 25.649, and a 607. Now I've done one hour and 40 minutes, and Jetta is moving fast as well. Suddenly, towards the end of my morning session, I started to find some speed again, and we are down to a 407. And this was the annoying part. I was really gaining on this following lap, getting a much better run coming out of turn one. And uh, unfortunately, I started losing it all towards the end of the lap. You can see, yeah, I was cutting that first part, but I messed up my line out of the second part of the chicane. I didn't get the car turned properly, so I only gained one thousandth of a second but we keep going and now we're down to 125.397. I mess up completely coming through turn two. And uh, now I've almost done two hours final run before I need to go to work. Somehow I lost some of the gameplay on this lap. So we are joining mid lap. We are making our way through turn two and uh, coming down the hill as well, fighting the understeer a bit now for the final chicane cutting a big chunk of the first apex, only skimming the second apex. That is a tiny bit better line, still not perfect by far, but we are going to go across the line, cutting a bit too much on the inside, but we're down to a 25.271. And uh, now I'm just parking the car in the wall. And uh, this is where my first two hours end. So now we jump to the same day, but much later and we are jumping into the VR headset as well. And this is the best run in this video. We are about to start the lap. This is a really nice car and a nice track to do in VR. It's easier to see the undulations. Now we are looking for the orange barrier for turn one. That is cutting too much. There is still time to find for me coming over the hill, looking for the curb, getting the car slowed down. I'm actually staying in fourth gear this time, hugging that left hand side curb, short shifting to fifth gear, lifting a tiny bit to make sure I don't run wide. And I think I'm going to stay in fourth gear this time, just being a bit more patient. That was really close to cutting the track. Now I'm looking for that uh, exit way on the left hand side and uh, getting the car slowed down using third gear for a bit of rotation. I'm using second gear for a bit of rotation, but straight up to fourth gear and you can just floor it because you are slightly out of boost range. So the car will need to build some boost and then you've got one less gear change coming down the straight. It can be a bit fiddly, but it sure is the fastest way. Now we are looking for the 300 board once we get to it. That's my reference. I am braking slightly after it coming into the final chicane, cutting a big chunk of the first part, and that was almost a tiny bit too much. This is not the best run out of the chicane either, bringing the car towards the outside, turning in, don't cut too much, that is a bit too much, a bit slightly over the finish line, but we are down to a 124.907, and this is where we are going to end this run. I think I can improve a bit more, but it will take some time, but it's a fun time trial to do, so maybe I will give it another go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, found it entertaining and maybe even somewhat useful. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye bye.